hello viewers welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be sharing with you guys how to deactivate plugins without access to wp admin that is are you having issue logging into your wordpress dashboard but you intend to deactivate all your plugins this video is definitely for you in this tutorial i'll be putting you guys through on how to do that and it is very very easy so guys before we proceed further if you are new to this channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button which is down this video and of course don't forget to like this video and share with your friends so guys let's get started sometimes when you are troubleshooting wordpress you might need to deactivate your plugins and sometimes it is difficult for you to do that because you might not be able to log in into your wordpress dashboard as you can see this is, my, this is my wordpress dashboard so in that kind of situation you might want to deactivate some particular plugin that could be the reason for the errors and the best way you can do that without access to your wp admin dashboard is by using the c panel which i am going to show you in this video so guys this is the c panel of my website as you can see this is my host C panel. This is where I hosted my website. Now, to deactivate your WordPress plugins, you can use two methods. You can use the file manager, and of course, you can use the PHP my admin section, which is this button right here. But for now, let's talk about how to use the file manager to deactivate all plugins on your website now all you have to do is to log in into your C panel. you can locate that through your host as for me I'm using Namecheap and this is the panel. so you have to go to the file manager section of the C panel and you wait for the page to load let's say we want to deactivate the plugins of this website let me look for the website this one So you can use the file manager, you can use the FTP, FTP client area. But as for this video, I'll be making use of the file manager section, which I have done already. And this is the website that I'm going to work on. I'm going to deactivate all the plugins without having to log into the C, into the WP admin section, which is my WordPress dashboard. So now, how do we do that? After clicking on the, on the website that you want to work on, which is this website right here, then you need to you need to over your mouse to this particular area. WP content. And then you look for the files that say plugin. So this file contains all the plugins installed on your website and to deactivate all these plugins right here as you can see there are lots of plugins here make sure you follow this video carefully so you can get to understand everything that i am talking about just make sure you follow this video and if you like this video don't forget to, to subscribe at the end of this video so guys let's continue so once you get to this very point the next thing you have to do now is to is to rename let's go back and let me show you something is to rename this folder here that says plugin but it, once you rename this folder to something else all the plugins on your website will be deactivated basically wordpress normally look for a folder that's called plugins which contains all the plugins on your website once wordpress can't find this plugin it will not load it on your website so renaming this plugin to something else this folder to something else we deactivate all the plugins on your website so once you have done that all you have to do is to click on the rename file and then let me rename it to something else. For example, you can rename it to plugins.tre, anything at all, and then you rename. So once you rename this file, it automatically stops the plugins on your site from activating. As you can see here, all the plugins here 
uh, they've all been deactivated. You can see the plugin classic editor has been deactivated. Several other plugins have been deactivated too. So guys, that is basically how you can deactivate plugins on your WordPress site without having to log in into the WP section or admin section of your website. So now, if you tend to reactivate all your plugins back, what you have to do now is to go to the same folder you rename and then you change it to the original name so all the plugins can be activated. Then after doing that, you have to click on the rename button and then you refresh this page right here. So as you can see now, all the plugins they are all back and we have to manually reactivate them. All you have to do is to click on all to click on select all which is this button right here and you activate all or you can choose to activate the one that you intend to activate that's it guys we have activated all the plugins and we need to do some customization on some of the plugins So guys, that's basically how you can deactivate all plugins on your website without having to log into your WP admin area. This is basically when you're having issues with your website, when you can't access your admin section. Sometimes plugins could be the reason for this and you deactivate them from the cPanel can enable you to log in directly into the WP admin section of your website. So guys, the second way is through PHP my admin, which is also very, very easy. So guys, if you find this video very helpful, please don't forget to subscribe. And of course, share this video so others can benefit from this tutorial. Goodbye.